is this lady? Who is this? That is not Britney Spears. That is not Britney Spears. Her and her on again, off again boyfriend, Paul Richard Solis, were having an argument. Fighting is constant. Britney Spears is trying her best to connect with her sons. He speaks to Sean Preston and Jaden via text and on the phone, but it's not as often as she likes. The source tells us the boys can be cold, but they respond occasionally. Britney Spears is dragging her ex-boyfriend online. The felon and father of nine has been bad to Britney, treating her poorly and getting her into trouble. So Britney is calling him out in an attempt to keep herself together and to rekindle a relationship with her kids. So let's get into it. One person commented, hey Sloan, off subject here, but have you seen all the latest pictures of Britney? It is not her. We haven't talked about Britney for a while on this channel, and I do have some bizarre updates for you guys. Let's start off by breaking down this comment that one of you guys left, writing that she hasn't been looking like herself, and Britney actually agrees with that comment. Britney has been open about her relationship with the paparazzi and how it hasn't been a good one, especially when it comes to the pictures and how they try to get her and the most unflattering angles and at her worst moments. On June 24th, Britney was spotted at the Van Nuys Airport in Los Angeles after finishing a brief trip to Mexico. Following the release of the paparazzi pictures, Britney took to her Instagram to express her dissatisfaction with the photographers capturing unflattering images of her. She shared that this experience made her feel like the most bullied person. Some people could call this dramatic, but also looking at her history with the paparazzi, it is clear that they do try to bully her. She shared a video of herself writing in the caption, the night before the paparazzi's got that shot of me going to my car. Same dress and the same girl. She writes, look, I get it. I know my body isn't perfect, but I also know I don't have cellulite on my legs the way the paparazzi's betray me. I also know the way that paparazzi shoot me in public when I go out to look like a different person. It's honestly abusive because I do feel like one of the most bullied people in the world. It's the truth. It's not healthy for my heart or my health. I'm glad that Britney Spears is speaking up for herself because it has to be difficult to be a woman in the industry and to have these standards and to have these people who are constantly trying to make you look bad. I mean, when's the last time we've seen a publication try to make Britney look good? But really, Britney Spears could care less because she recently posted something very savage and directed to her boyfriend, Paul, and she declares that she's now single as F. Britney slammed her ex in an Instagram story questioning his behavior in a paparazzi photo taken after she settled her conservatorship case in April. We actually talked about this picture on the channel. It was really dramatic with the car. We had her um like kicking the windshield. I think did the windshield break as well? Well, Britney wrote, I'm single AF and that she will never be with another man as long as she lives with a picture and a quote writing her attitude is savage but her heart is gold but when talking about paul she was questioning why this man put her in danger when referencing these paparazzi photos she writes why was he going 90 in a neighborhood with one paparazzi following only to roll the window down when the paparazzi pulls to the side of me so she's asking him why was he speeding off why was there one paparazzi there and why did he roll down the window when the person was trying to catch up to them quote then he calls his mom and says that he's being harassed why did he he rolled the window down with me crying in the seat. She has since deleted the caption from her post, which is something that she does pretty often. She'll post something and then delete it a few hours later just so people can get the message. Sources told Page Six that Britney's loved ones were concerned about her romance with Paul, who has been charged with multiple misdemeanors and at least one felony. One person saying that he's been bad news from the start. So it's probably good for Britney that she is single as F as she's saying. We've only really heard bad news when it comes to this couple, like that incident that happened at the Marymount Hotel. The duo were making headlines for alleged altercation at West Hollywood's Chateau Marymount, where they were photographed outside the establishment surrounded by first responders. And remember that this guy was Britney's employee. I guess she had hooked up with him a few times and uh, she didn't know about his criminal past, but he was somewhat like involved in her divorce from Sam, I kind of believe that 
she kind of had a fling with this man and maybe Sam suspected it. Either way, Paul is bad news. I mean, I think way worse than maybe even Sam Asgari is. I mean, Sam wasn't really, I mean, he didn't seem smart. He seemed like he may have played for the other side, like Brittany's father and the people putting her in the conservatorship, but Paul was actually dangerous. The police and paramedics were called for an incident that occurred. Her and her on again, off again boyfriend, Paul Richard Solis, were having an argument. There was a source of conflict between Britney Spears and her boyfriend, Paul Solis, saying that they trashed a Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas. They said they got into an intense fight that was so bad when it was over, their hotel room was trashed. We're told Britney ended up paying the hotel tens of thousands of dollars to cover the damage. Now, I know hotel rooms can be expensive, but tens of thousands of dollars? Fighting is constant in part because, as one source put it, Britney is out of control and it's so bad, I'm afraid for the worst. So bad headline after bad headline. And I do worry that Paul may get physical with Brittany because when they showed up to the Marymount Hotel, she had a foot injury and I guess their fight that they were having was fake according to them and she was trying to do a leap in the hotel room and she fell and that's how she hurt herself even though there were people who were witnesses at the hotel and claimed that there was a fight breaking out between a couple recently paul's ex has been outspoken because she has kids with him and he's absent she said he was married and now he denies his children. Nicole, his ex, says that he neglects his children for Britney. And we all know Britney cares about her children so dearly, so I'm sure if she was aware of Paul's kids, she wouldn't want him to neglect them. I found one article that reads, the real reason why Britney and Paul had split, as insiders claimed her rebound after Sam could have led her down a dark path. Britney Spears calls it quits with felon Paul. I can't believe that's even an article over fears her romance with her former housekeeper and deadbeat dad of a nine could jeopardize her relationship with her own teenage sons. Insiders claim that she ended their short-lived union after healing her broken relationship with her sons, Sean Preston and Jaden. Quote, she chooses her children and her well-being over Paul. They actually did not get along, which I feel like I could tell from afar. And in fact, he did not treat her how she deserves to be treated. Again, something I feel like I could see from afar. He didn't really seem like a genuine person. He was nothing but a rebound and she recognizes this, but she has contact with her children again, and that's what's most important to her. The last time we spoke about Britney's kids, they didn't want anything to do with her, so something has changed. They were embarrassed over her Instagram posts and the nudity and things that I kind of understand why they are embarrassed, but they were cutting her off. Though it looks like Kevin, the father of her children, Kevin Federline, oh, I can't stand him. His attorney, who I also can't stand, Mark Kaplan, we talked about him a bunch, he put out a statement saying the good thing is the boys saw their mom was doing well and have a desire to speak with her there have been some telephonic telephonic why why just not phone calls there have been some telephonic communication between britney and her sons and we think that it is a step in the right direction sounds like chat gbt but even less intelligent than chat gpt like who who says telephonic communication really mark but this is great news for britney because all she wants is a relationship with her kids this source says this has made her feel whole again and she realized that in their absence she was seeking something or someone to fill the void but no one can britney spears is trying her best to connect with her sons nearly a year after she agreed to allow them to move to hawaii from california with their dad kevin federline a source tells us that she speaks to sean preston and Jaden via text and on the phone, but it's not as often as she likes. The source tells us the boys can be cold, but they respond occasionally. Now, an insider noted that Britney reaches out at least once a month, though their conversations can be very surface level. The insider adds that Sean Preston and Jaden are at the age where they're busy with school, friends, and trying to adjust to their new life. Plus, they haven't had a bond with their mom since they were very young. Their communication has improved from what it was before the time when they relocated to Hawaii. I do think it's a positive sign. Okay, we have to acknowledge that that clip versus the reports we're reading are so different. I mean, the reports are trying to make it seem like they are, they're really bonding, that there's a relationship. And then that clip just made me feel like they text once a month and it's like, hey, how are you? Good, 
Good. Okay. Bye. But the source claims that Brittany also saw how Paul was a deadbeat dad, and this was a major turnoff for her. I called that. But before anything, she knew that staying with him would only lead her down a dark path. His history speaks for itself. Yeah, with his bad behavior, he doesn't need to be anywhere near her money because he would do a lot of wrong with it. Britney Spears confirmed that things were back on track on Instagram when she recently shared a picture of her brother Brian. She wrote, looking pretty dapper. I sent it to my kids and I think that they got jealous because they said, that's a filter. That's not real. One source shared that Brian, her brother, was instrumental in facilitating their reunion. He cares so much for Britney and his nephews. She wanted to keep this quiet because she didn't want to jeopardize their chances of reconciliation, but she's actually been back to being their mom again since February. Here's a little clip that Brittany had shared on her Instagram. Okay, so my brother just got a massage and he's sleeping and he can't wake up. He's been, the massage was like 15 minutes ago and he's still sleeping. <laughs> oh. We talked about Britney's conservatorship case and how everything came to an end. So, no, we're not going to see her father in prison. He, again, had his leg, like, amputated. So, the guy is not doing well. And it looks like Britney doesn't need legal representation anymore because Matthew Rosengar is no longer her lawyer. We covered Matthew Rosengar extensively on this channel. He represented Britney and helped her get out of the conservatorship. Didn't necessarily seek criminal charges, but uh, that's another video. So, Matthew Rosengar is stepping down, comes as all litigation pertaining to Britney's former conservatorship has been resolved, reinstating the pop star's independence and releasing her from the probate system. Yay! I mean, like, a little cheers for that. I mean, good news, right? Like, cheers for Britney and, like, not being a conservatorship. Like, beating the probate system is not easy. With the settlement reached and all other loose ends tied to Britney's litigation finalized, Matthew, who is a LA-based partner at Greenberg, is moving on and focusing on other clients, which I do question, like, why wasn't TriStar... Loom Taylor, Robin Greenhill, all these other people investigated or charged. Matthew actually won an award for representing Britney, so he made quite a name for himself. So it's kind of a win-win for him. Now he can get out of it and wipe his hands clean, even though I feel like Britney, I mean, she won her freedom back, but she didn't really win when it came to the people who did this to her or when it came to the legal fees. I mean, she still had to pay for her father's lawyer uh, lawyer's fees. So like she, she like really... <laughs> She funded this entire thing. It's really sick. So I feel like there could have been more done, but uh, I'm not a lawyer. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this update and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.